Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Prasangi. Today we have another clinical anatomy query in hand. So let's have a look at the signs and symptoms and let's discuss the causes of this particular condition. So the topic of discussion today is tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. So the pain associated with tennis elbow is presented as irradiating pain from the lateral aspect of the elbow into the forearm and wrist. So mostly the patient will be coming to you complaining of a pain in the lateral aspect of the elbow and especially during easy day-to-day -day activities like shaking hands or gripping an object or while turning a doorknob or while straining the clothes after washing or by holding a simple cup of coffee. So these are the typical presentations that you will observe in your patients and they will be complaining of severe pain on the lateral aspect of the elbow joint. That is a very important point to remember while we discuss the causes behind it. So let's turn the proanatomy mode on to discuss the causes behind the tennis elbow. So when we consider the causes behind the tennis elbow, that can be categorized into three groups. One is the occupational causes, where people who have jobs that involve repetitive motions of the wrist and arm, that is particularly the extensor compartment muscles. For example, the plumbers, where they have to do this wrenching purpose, or they have to turn uh, like difficult tasks using the extensor compartment muscles, like gripping a particular spanner or something like that. So then we can consider the butchers, where they have to chop the meat with immense pressure and there also the extensor compartment will be repeatedly strained and for cooks as well. So in all these conditions related to the occupation, there is repeated strain happening to the extensor group of muscles. So that will in turn give some ex extra strain over the origin point of this extensor group muscles. And that is nothing but the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. So that is from where all these extensor compartment muscles are arising. So the extra strain will come. And when we consider the second category, that is the sports category, the people who participate in racket sports increases the risk of tennis elbow, especially if the stroke techniques are not practiced properly. So when they do this backhand strike, there are chances that severe strain might come upon the extensor compartment muscles. So that is how it got the name tennis elbow because in tennis, it is a racket sport where there is immense pressure coming over the extensor compartment muscles of forearm and that causes the strain and that induces this particular condition called as tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. And there is another factor which has to be considered that is the age. While the tennis elbow affects all the group of ages, it is most common in the adults between the ages of 30 and 50. That is an important thing to remember. So these are the causes behind the extensive group of muscles involving the tennis elbow. And what are the basic causes? That is nothing but the repeated strain to the common origin of extensive group of muscles in the forearm. So you can simply just write down as anything that causes repeated strain to the origin of extensive group of muscles of the forearm can result in tennis elbow. And here we have a representation of the extensor compartment muscles. And here we have the lower end of humerus. And here will be the lateral epicondyle, where is the origin of all this particular extensor group of muscles. So if any strain, repeated strain happens here, that causes an inflammation in this particular area. And that will be presented as we discussed in the first slide. Thank you.